Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the system service exception BSOD error in Windows 11. The first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run a check this scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, just type the following command or copy paste it from the description below and then press on enter. This command will scan your system for errors and fix any issues along the way. Now you can restart your device and check whether the issue has been resolved. Another useful solution is to disable the Google update services. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search results. Now in here, click on the services tab and afterwards, as you can see, the list is quite big. Just scroll down until you find the Google update service and then simply untick the box next to it. Now click on apply and OK to save the changes and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run an SFC and a DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In here, type or copy paste the following commands from the description below and then press enter after each command. Now just wait a bit because the scan can take some time and afterwards you can restart your PC. Now you can check if the problem still persists. You can also update your system drivers. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. In here just scroll down the list or check for any exclamation mark or a yellow alert symbol, right click the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible solutions for your PC. And lastly another great solution is to reset Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then in here on the left pane make sure to click on System, and afterwards on the right side scroll down until you find the Recovery section and select it. Now just click on the Reset PC button next to Reset this PC, and then in here just proceed with your personal preferences to start the reset procedure. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider in the long run. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.